Start by overlocking the sides. You always sew in an invisible zipper when it's open because of the construction of the zipper. When you place it, close it and place it along the edge on top and side. Open again so you can pin your zipper to the fabric. Pin it all the way down to where you want your zipper to stop. I always use a zipper that is longer than the actual opening because then it's much easier to sew. Now make a stitch just to keep your your zipper in place. When you have done that, it's time to sew in the zipper. I use a regular foot, but you can use what you prefer. The important thing is to sew just beside the teeth in the ditch. Here you can see the stitching along the teeth. Now close your zipper to place the other piece of your fabric and you just need to place it just like you did before along the edge and then pin it on to your zipper. And when you have done that just make a stitch along the edge to keep your zipper in place. Now you're ready to sew in the other side of the zipper. Close your zipper again. And now you're going to place a pin. And this pin is very important. So be accurate. You need to place a, s a pin just where your first a stitch is. And place it on the side where you want to sew. So do like this and open your, your zipper again. And be careful not to remove your pin. Now I'm just turning the first pin I placed so I can place my fabric my fabric okay now you need to stop the stitch right where you have put in your pin and this is very important to get a nice result Now you have actually sewn in the invisible zipper and you can see here where your two stitches is ending right beside each other. Okay, so now it's time to do the seam underneath the invisible zipper and just pin together all the layers to keep it in place. And you need to make a stitch that ends right beside or just right below the two first stitching that you have made. So, so with one centimeter or what your sew allowance must be and just stop right below a millimeter or two below your first stitch. And here you can see that this there is a just a small gap between the two stitching. And this gap will make your invisible zipper be invisible just all the way down because this will give give the zipper some room to to um to move and then you won't have as these small folds on the end of the zipper.
then give it a soft press. Do not press on your teeth because they can melt. And press your seam allowance on the back. And voila, your zipper is done.